Stuck like Chuck. No. You yeah. Don't yes. I'm gonna wake up at three o'clock in the morning and drive. Well, I woke up and the then way. I went back to sleep. Yeah. She hit the snooze button all the way off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got the pups in the back. Look at the puppers. They're comfy. Don't be pooper. Don't be pooper. They ate breakfast. Don't be pooper. They're gonna take a nap soon. Yeah, they're already the sleeping. Basically, like puppies. I gotta take another nap too. Not this early. Come on. But we're just waiting for our breakfast, so I'm gonna pull over to the side. Because you know they're a little a little uh, busy, so I'm just gonna grab some breakfast, grab some coffee, and then drive. Head out to Monterey and then down the Pacific Coast Highway. Just stop at the beaches wherever we can. Wherever we can. Alright. Our plans are to just um, car camp. So we're gonna play down the seats in the back and we're gonna sleep in the, in the car. The we car. got the dogs. It'll be interesting. Yep. It'll be a good time. Good time. Nice. It'll give nice us like a, a, you know what, since we want to do that like month long road trip, mm -hmm. it'll give us like an introduction of like what it can be like. Except yeah. we don't have any camping gear. Because sure. we could do, that time we could do like a mix, you know? True. Yes, ma'am. Alright, I'll see you guys. Have fun. conversation that I didn't end up like videoing or anything there which is a good thing so this is the place where it's at in California Moreno Valley yeah Marina Valley we went to the location on Marina Beach Drive but they have a few locations it's good I forgot yes. already what he said this was but it it tastes I don't know it tastes like a little espresso it has oat milk because I have dairy allergy taste oh yeah I like the coffee flavor. It's nice. I'll have to ask them then. Not overly it. sweet. No. And then what did you get? Uh, caramel right, you mocha. Ordered for me. It was a caramel, caramel mocha, mocha frappuccino. Very I, good. I, I told sweet. him what not we wanted. Sweet. Yeah, what we wanted, and he put the order in. He was like, "I got you," and he told him what he exactly what to use, what to do. Um, yeah, really so good. It was a little, little nice little treat. So, yeah, nice guy. Yeah, so. and then uh, a big bag full of pastries. So. Oh, sweet, sweet. Yeah. Alright, guys. All right. See you around. See you around. You'll see us eating the pastries. Be on the lookout for Cupcake Espresso Bar. So, he's going to be opening up some uh, pop up locations, some standalone, hopefully, in the next year. So, okay. look out for them. Good stuff. Recommend them. Pretty good. Uh, so, we're on our way to 
don't know why. Again. Mm, mm, mm. We're trying this the set he, he, he gave us, super nice. Um, banana pudding. Banana That's pudding good. cake, yeah. Real bananas That's in good. there. Yeah, nice. Is that all really sweet? So, it's pretty awesome. And of course, I'm the driver, so I get fed. Ah. There you go. Super good. The vanilla wafers are like my fave. This will be gone in like five minutes. It's already halfway gone. I'm well, hungry. I haven't had lunch. Mm. So freaking good. She's Danish. She's very stoned. She's just a brownie in here. Oh, so good. It smells freaking amazing. I think it's some Thai food. Super good. It used to be a favorite when I used to live out here in Cali. But um, I figured while we're going to eat, even though it's kind of ahead of schedule for the dogs, I'm going to go ahead and feed them a little bit anyway. Just because I, it makes me uncomfortable like if we're eating and the dogs are just sitting there staring at us. I feel bad for them. So we're going to have a quick bite. We're going to go potty. Huh, bubbies? So we're going to go pee. We're going to eat. We got the dry food and then the wet food mixed together. We're going to hydrate and chill. All right. So while we're stopped, the dogs are going to do their quick potty business. Stretch their legs a little bit. Enjoy. It's like so interesting. I was just saying to my boyfriend, it's 93 degrees out here still, but there's like a nice breeze. And it's like nothing like Arizona's 96 degrees. It's like so much better. Like a pocket. Like so much better. Stretch those legs. Speaking of legs, wearing uh, compression stockings. If you know uh, compression stockings and driving and just traveling where you're not doing a heck of a lot of movement, it's definitely a must. Fight and combat those blood clots. Don't get yourself in a funny business. So what did you end up getting? The pineapple fried rice? Mm-hmm. I'll wrap it in the, the cod. Then I got the pet you and added some shrimp. I asked the guy Hot as hell. Better. He said he'd like this one better. Yeah, how was it? I think it's a little dry on the rice. I wish they had some sort of um, ingredient. Mm -hmm. some Why don't stuff. you put that sauce in? I think that's magnolia tree with those beautiful white flowers on them. Ugh, I could die. It's so pretty. Well, not my We had like a late lunch, early dinner. Cause I don't imagine we'll eat again. But and it's already five o'clock. We're not quite there yet. We're still in Claremont right now. But you know, truthfully, we're both kind of like not satisfied with our dinner it's kind of disappointing it wasn't like as good as it used to be I want to say like I feel like it was more I've like... never been here so you would be the one to say this. <laughs> it's not as good as it used to be it's more like it tasted just more like pre-made and reheated or maybe just sitting like under a lamp it wasn't like it wasn't good disappointed I want to say Flower. So now we're gonna get back on the highway and head over down to Montclair still. How how long do you think it's gonna take us from now? From where we are? To hit where? Where we're going, Monterey? What did I say? Uh, Monterey, but I don't know if we'll make it to Monterey. We may have to stop somewhere else and along the way. Yeah. So cause uh Monterey's probably about five hours away from here. And it's five so right now. about 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. We'll see. We're just going to... Wing go, it. We'll go by the seat of... What is it saying? By the seat of our pants. Go by the seat of our I pants. I mean, we may just push through and see what happens, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm and pretty... we can get to the, tomorrow started. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Side, so, yeah. okay. I don't feel terrible, but uh, who knows? I might feel... I might crash in an hour. The dogs didn't want to eat yet. They had bits and pieces of my, my noodles. They 
hydrated a little bit. They walked, they peed, they pooped. Now we're on our way. This one's for Stacy. Stacy, look at that purple tree. I'm pretty sure I've sent you this photo, a photo of this tree before. But look at how pretty it is. Is that purple or pink? I want one. I want one. Oh, damn. I want one. Oh, I just got direction. I go on the 10 to the 57. I've never been on the 57. Head south on South Indian Hill Boulevard toward yeah, West no San Jose. On the 57. What? I've never even heard of it. It's just a little shortcut. Good evening, everybody. We are headed towards uh, Pyramid Lake. We're on the 5 right now. We're going to exit. We're going to see if there's any open, available camp spots so we can just car camp there. Crossing your fingers. Car camp there. So, um, wish us luck. Cross your fingers. If not, we uh, may just head forward to um, uh, Sandy Point in, uh, I think it's San Pablo or something. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I can feel the cool air though through the car, so it's kind of nice. I just turned the AC back on. Ah, the AC. <laughs> well, because I was like, I don't want to get used to it yet. If I can enjoy the AC, why not? Okay. It's like 82, it says, and it's supposed to drop down to like 60. So um, I was just trying to feel like, okay, it's going to be too warm if it stays like 80. But it's, I think it's not bad. Because the 80 here is not like Arizona 80. The Arizona 80 is like the devil's breath. And here yeah. it's like nice. Red Lake here. Um, the the road Smoky does get Bear? Smoky Bear Road. Yeah, exit right here. Yeah, they look for this police officer. Yeah. Highway off the highway. He's on a rush. Don't worry, he's going to pull us over. Our road is uh, going to wind out a little bit here. So we will be backtracking a little bit. Are we gonna go left or right? You're gonna make left. As you can see, the road sort of winds. It's sort of like a pet noodle there. So we'll see what happens here. Wow, look at this area. It's scary. It's scary. There's bears and cougars out here. Is there? No, I'm just kidding. Like go, straight, go, straight. Straight. go straight. Yeah. I, don't, I can't go straight. I have to go what? Right You're left. You're gonna make a left. Yeah, go straight to make a left on Pyramid Lake Road. Um, we got fresh fruits. Stand right there. Look at that. We may need to get some oh, some some pot. Some oh, sandia. look at this fire danger today. Check the little map. Fire danger. That's mild. Come it's on. yellow. A boater is real for the lake. High danger. Oh, Hungry alive. <laughs> So we're about six minutes away, guys. So. They'll be they'll be just started whining. I think he notices like when there's a change in the speed. the car, the speed when we're not on the freeway, or when I start That's using the turn burn. signals, because then he starts to get like whiny, like oh my god, get me out of the vehicle. He's fine. I mean, we haven't been in long, but he just the green trees. I think there's probably a river down happen. here that's running. So well, there's gotta be. Look how cool super right green. There. Yeah. So we just got to this Pyramid Lake area. So we made a wrong turn. So we need to like go back and go over some bridge and then head. Cause this is like the day recreation area or boating area. So we need to go back a little bit. Just we're crossing our fingers and hoping that there's some availability cause there's like reservations online, but you can also do like first come first serve, like for people that didn't show up or places that didn't, or slots I guess that didn't sell out for overnight camping. So we're gonna go there, try our luck and hope that there's some space open. But I'm waiting for Mauricio cause of course he has to pee again. I swear, boys, what's the matter? He's over it. He's over it. It's like almost 7 p.m. at 6.58. And we've been in the car, I think, since 9 or 9.30 this morning. I mean, obviously, we're stopping and stretching and moving around. So it's kind of taken us a while to get here from Arizona. But um, he's just over it. I think he's used to his normal routine of roading around and chewing on his, on his babies, which we brought with us. So we keep him company. But he's just... Out of routine. All right, 
So we ended up finding a place, or coming to the place that we found. It's called Pyramid Lake. So this is going to be the first place that we camp out overnight in our car on our trip. We're pretty excited about it. So we were nervous because we thought it was like reserve online for a spot. But it's actually one of those spots where you, um, there's information right there. But there's a little man booth over there where you just fill out your information um, on an envelope and pay that way. And then, you know, if there's a spot available, first come, first serve. So we were able to find a spot close enough to the restrooms, but far enough to where there hopefully isn't a lot of noise. There's going to be noise either way because all these little camp spots are pretty close together. But not bad for winging it on the first day. It's very nice, hopefully. And it's cool. It's not as cool as I thought it was going to be, but it's cooler um, than it could be. And I think it's only going to get cooler this evening. This is it. We are up past this tree, which we'll look at in a minute. The babes is just over there paying and socializing. They had a big dog, so to avoid our dogs yelling at his dog. So just hanging back and waiting. It's so cute because there's this little boy here that's probably like, I don't know, five or eight years old. He's got a bat and a ball and he's playing a little game of baseball by himself. It's cute. He's talking to himself too. To be young again. Oh, also, we were able to buy firewood from this guy. So we're going to put up a little fire. And what's funny is like, he and I ate dinner already. Mauricio and I already ate dinner. Um, like a late lunch, or early dinner. But we're still pretty full. But we're like camping out. We're going to put up a fire. And it's going to be a couple hours before dark. So it just feels so weird to not have food to prep for dinner. Or like banana boats or something like that. Like our favorite camping dessert. So we were just joking. And I was like, go oh, grab some s'more stuff from that guy. So when he comes back, I'm going to ask him if they had any. Look at that ugly little bug. Gross. Mark. Your mark? Was the there a mark? Mini mark. Uh -huh. And uh, he, says, he says, just limited stuff like like uh, some tent stuff, some propane tanks, you had to leave and you had like sunscreen, uh -huh. like your Banana Republic spray. Mm -hmm. It was marked for 16 bucks, he says, but it's changed company so much, he says, if I was to scan it, he says, I'll show you, he says, he scanned it, the Banana Republic uh, sunscreen, $19 for a little can of spray. God, no. he says, you see, he says, and every time he changes hands, he says, the prices go up. <laughs> wow. So that's wild. So they didn't have any s'mores? No s'mores. No s'mores. Very limited. Yeah. What they leave us. No, right? Is he pooping again? Yes. So that's our campsite. That that's poop? the house. Back? That's a campsite. Not the house. That's a potty. Potty campsite. Trying to get situated. And someone's finding themselves a nice little nest. Pooh Bear, I mean Dobie. All that's gonna move in a minute, baby. Pooh Bear's like, hurry the F up. Look at Dobie. Now we're at our little site. Putting together a fire. Oh wow. Get some fire started. We're some fire started. That's the firewood we bought from the guy down there. Which lucked out that we had that. We got our car camp set up. Obviously the dogs are comfortable. So what we have, pristine fire, what he says, is we have like this really old, thick, I mean thick. This is the old Coleman from like the 90s, I think. Babe, how old is this sleeping bag? That sleeping bag, I would say it's probably about 25 years. So it's as old as I am. <laughs> almost, baby. Almost. Yeah. So it's very old. It's like this flannel material. I mean, this sucker is thick. Look at that. So we don't really use it for actually sleeping in, but sleeping on. So we use it like as a mat. We take it camping all the time. And then we have this big 
I think it's like a full size um, duvet cover, but inside of it is two waffle mats that are like sandwiched between each other. Like the full waffles, the egg crates, not waffle. Oh my God. That's how you know you work in healthcare when you refer to a, something as a waffle mat. It's an egg crate. Egg crate, egg crate. Oh my God. So it's egg crate. So right now it should, we should have unfluffed it, but it's okay. It's like pretty flat, but in like an hour or two, it'll raise up a bit. The puppers are already comfortable. They act like they did most of the driving. Getting ready to actually feed them dinner and just chill. So that's the car camping. This is our spot. This is off of, what is this? Smoky Bear? Lake Pyramid. So over this mountain is where we were, where the water is. It's a nice spot. There's nothing behind us besides some creepy woods. Some people next to us. Then I think over there, there's like a water source. Then obviously the bathroom. That's it. Oh, so these, I'm going to show. These covers are for the windows. We bought a set that covers all of them. That's I think is backwards. I'll fix that in a minute. But they're for like the front, even those little tiny windows or some. Then I have one for the back that I'll put up once we're in here. But it's gonna like totally black out for privacy obviously. Cause who wants to be crept, creeped on while they're sleeping? Not that I think anybody's gonna do it, but you just never know. Would it be crept on? Creeped on? Crept on. That sounds better. Crept on. It's like a superhero. I'm gonna pick out the dog's babies for them to see if they get excited. This one my mom got for Boo Bear, who obviously doesn't have a nose. Buggy. Buggy. Mm, he doesn't care. Doby wants it. I have Doby's. This one is Doby's Pride and Joy. Dobby! Look at that. Oh, he knows it's his baby. What's going on, man? You looking for something? I'll do a little oral cam. Wash my face. Skulls. Don't go too far. The mountain's gonna get you. Huh? So don't go too far. The mountain's gonna get you. I'm afraid of the mountain. The mountain's gonna be afraid of me. Shut up. <laughs> you and your chunk bus. It's getting a little dark. Just went to the restroom. There's my probably eating a pastry. Alright, it's morning. It's 6 30. It is 55 degrees. We slept well in the car. Yes, we did. I slept well. You said I was gonna say, I was gonna say by well, about? I mean my back fucking hurts. <laughs> um, I had no problem. Slept like a champ, like a baby. Mm -hmm. It did get a little nippy cold there towards the end, but mm -hmm. we got yeah. cold, and then he proceeded to take the blanket from me. Um, like, it was the dogs at work. Cuddling next to you, me I, that took the blanket. You woke up and took the blanket away from me, and I had to unfold it so we both had blankets because I was I was mm. warm and cozy because somebody decided it, we needed to crack all the windows in the vehicle. Well, this here like a this court. much. I got two witnesses right there. Those are my witnesses. Look at those cold little dogs. Well, they're warm now because the there's one. And then there's mm. W. Well. Toby on the floor. I can edit that part. There he is. Bumble like a little sweater. Ready? Ready to go. We are ready. Brushed our stuff. teeth. Washed our faces. All packed up. We need to pick up some dry shampoo because my hair is looking a little greasy. Let's buckle up. Let's hit the road. And we're off.
Get some coffee. Goodbye, closed campsite. And that guy was trying to steal our wood. <laughs> I ain't leaving anyone. Yeah. Let's go. All that suede mountain. It's all suede, isn't it? It's all suede or dead brush. Looks like the Perk Perkins duck set I don't have yet. <laughs> that light suede color. That light suede. It's a pretty drive, you know. I mean, it's nothing spectacular, but it's pretty. Right? Yes. No cactuses. No cactuses, no 109 degrees. Look at that. Shut yeah. 53 degrees. It's nice. We stopped at this uh, winery for some wine tasting. Oh, wine tasting. But because we have the pups, she's going to go in and sample some stuff and grab some bottles of wine for the house. Very pretty. Very, very pretty property. All that is great vineyards over there. I think there's some over to the left, too. Yep. But now, while he's in there picking us out some wine, I'm gonna see if these dogs will finally drink some water. So, so far, the trip has been good. We've just been doing like quite a bit of driving, and by we, I mean me because. I like to drive. The babes does do good too, but he tends to get like sleepy when he drives, whereas me, I can just push right through it and I'm fine. Um, let's walk, let's walk a little bit. Come on, come on. And uh, so I've been driving all the way through. Feels really nice to kind of get out of like Arizona and get out of the area of like just doing the same thing. You know, work, home, work, home, work, home. So it's nice to get out in a way and get your mind away from that work mode mindset and just to kind of reset a little bit plus it's been a while that we've gone out like we've gone out and gone camping like one or two days just to decompress a little bit but it's nice to like know you're completely out of the state in which you live he secured the goods i don't think he realizes we're not in the vehicle oh he just realized hopefully we got some good stuff I like your shirt. Take off your shirt. I like your skin. Take off your skin. <laughs> so, uh, so Paris Valley Road. The uh, this this is a vintage brut. It's a white wine. It's a sparkling wine, but it has a little light, uh, kind of like light sweetness, but it's more on the milder. But the um, so it's a brut. It's not. Yeah. So yeah. Exactly. But she did say. You would be able to combine this one's more like a Moscato type. It's a little sweeter, has a little citrusy kind of like orange uh, peel. This is a very nice sweet, not overly sweet, but you can actually, she says, combine both of them if you want that little bubbly effect. Mm -hmm. And it, it comes out very nice, she says. And then, uh, so I got two of those bottles. Okay. And then I got a, a Malbec. This is a nap, uh, more of a California Malbec. She says it has less, less tannings, not so much body uh it's kind of like your everyday drinker kind of thing so but yeah so a brand on This one is so pretty. We brought Blue Bear to smell the roses. This one is so pretty. Yeah. Look at it. I want to smell it. Oh. I'm scared. What if a bug gets me? Right there. Tell the bee you want to smell it. 
Where? There's a bee right here. Look at crawling in that one. Ready up here. Huh? Oh. oh, it is pretty. Maybe we should do a rose garden, you think? Yeah, we could. We got to have a look at cover. This is beautiful. It's this. so pretty. This is my favorite rose ever. What is it called, this one? And it's so pretty. Let me smell. It's not too strong. You mean the odor? Yeah, the odor, the scent. No, it's very mild. Yeah, super mild. Is there a name for There's gotta be somewhere. So presently we were we are in Santa Barbara. Oh, over there I think. So we're in Santa Barbara. Get him off the roads. So we're in Santa Barbara. We came to the botanical gardens. And I think we're gonna go to the mission. Look at that dog just running around. But first we're gonna smell all these roses. We're gonna stop to smell them. So pretty. Can we also talk about how there's blackbirds of paradise everywhere. We definitely want some of those. All American rose. It's pretty. I think you. Ooh, look at this one. That one. Is... I know, but that's pretty. Well, with movement, you're better, right? You're not too cold? Brought the dogs to the beach. The dogs. Because... So we ended up making it down to Huntington. And we're just gonna do the PCH all the way back home, I think, to like the eight, and then go up home that way. All right, under control at all times. Leash when entering and exiting. Waves, no aggressive dogs. Oh my gosh. So, Dopey's not aggressive. He just gets fearful sometimes, and then he barks. But after he's settled, 